Okay, married couples, do you know that the top reason for divorce is unresolved issues? Well, I want to help you out today so that you can get to resolving some issues. Number one, you need to be willing to talk. That shut down, silent thing you're doing, it has to go. So that's number one. And when you talk, there's two things you have to remember. One, always stay in the place of respect. And two, remain calm. Number three, when you open the conversation up, you want to open it up with a bunch of thank yous. Honey, I want to thank you for being such a great husband. I am so thankful for our marriage, thankful for our family, thankful for you working hard, right? Or you could be talking to your wife and saying, babe, I want to thank you for being such a good wife and mom. You take very good care of us, and I really appreciate all the things you do. So now it's time to deal with the issues. But before you go all willy-nilly, I want you to remember this. Do not say what you don't want. Only mention what you want. For example, don't say this. I'm tired of you being on your phone and watching TV, and you're not spending enough time with me. Don't do that. Instead say, Bay, I really miss you. I miss talking with you, spending time with you, laughing with you. I miss you. And I just would love a little bit more of your time. And husband, instead of you saying, you don't listen to me, you never pay attention to me. Don't do that. Instead say, Bay, I just want you to understand me a little bit more. I just need for you to hear me out. If you can do that for me, I would really appreciate it. Now it's time to close out with a win and you simply say, Bay, I apologize if I said anything that offend you or hurt you, that is not my desire. I love you and it is my desire to put a smile on your face every day. I love you. Now go on about yourself. Go on ahead and resolve them issues. Don't wait till tomorrow, do it today. See y'all later. I'm your girl, Mrs. Toy Banks, the world's most satisfied wife. God bless.